Hello everyone and welcome back to Lounging with Lenny. My name is Lenny. Today I'll show you how to make butternut squash risotto. So stay tuned and make sure to watch the video to the end. Fall is here and it's a perfect season for butternut squash and sage. And from these two ingredients I will make beautiful butternut squash risotto. First of all let's prep butternut squash. Cut top and bottom off. Cut it in half and cut the skin off with a serrated knife. You will put some work to it, but it's totally fine. Take a spoon and remove the seeds. It is very easy to make, but you need to know a couple techniques. First of all, you need to use arborio rice. It is short and medium grains with a high starch content. That's what exactly gives risotto this creamy texture. You can also substitute arborio rice with carnaroli. There are different types of rice you can use, but let's not get into the details. And cut the butternut squash into medium size. Subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my new videos. You will need approximately 1.5 cups of medium diced butternut squash. The rest you can roast and eat it as is. Take one small onion, cut it into half and dice it small. I'm only using half of an onion. Take one small shallot. Dice it small as well. One large garlic clove. Dice it. and slightly puree it with the side of the knife. Take 5 to 6 sage leaves. Of course everything is washed and clean. Straighten it up. Stuck them together Roll them and chiffon out it Preheat the pan to medium heat Add 3 tablespoons of olive oil and 1 tablespoon of butter Add onion, saute it for a couple of minutes. Add shallot, saute it for another minute. Add butternut squash and let it cook for 8 minutes on a medium low heat. Make sure to constantly stir it, you don't want to burn your vegetables. garlic Now let's add one cup of arborio rice. Let it toast for one minute
and add half a cup of white wine. Cook it for 2 minutes. Season it with some salt and black pepper. And now let's start adding the stock. I got 4 cups of chicken stock, but you can definitely use vegetable stock as well. Make sure that your stock is hot, because you don't want to drop the temperature of the rice when you cook risotto. Add the chicken stock ladle or two at a time, and make sure to constantly stir it. When you see that the chicken stock is observed, add another ladle. The cooking time of rice is approximately 18 minutes. And of course you want your rice to be al dente. When you have about 2 ladles of chicken stock left, add sage and remaining chicken stock. Stir it. Let it cook for 1 minute. Shut off the heat, add half a cup of grated Parmigiano Reggiano. Stir the risotto so the cheese is melted. And your butternut squash risotto is ready. It is creamy, delicious and beautiful.